Hello, so today we are going to do another review of a, of a book that I read recently. So this is Algorithms Unlocked by Thomas H. Corman. And if we take a look, um, so Thomas H. Corman is actually one of the writers of the famous book CLRS, which is um, Introduction to Algorithms book, so the famous um, big book. Um, so, yeah, as I said, this book is written by Thomas H. Corman, who is one of the co-authors of, um, of the Introduction to Algorithms book. Um, except this book was an attempt to write more of an introductory material, so it's around 200-something pages. So it's, um, it's very short compared to um, Algorithms, Introduction to Algorithm, which is around 1,000-something pages. So this one is a lot more in-depth, uh, in depth, but this one is more like of an introductory, easier read um, book. Um, okay, so let's, it's also very recent. It's like written, I think, in 2013 or something um, similar. So if we take a look, yes, yeah, it's, it's around 2013. So it's, it's new as well. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Um, so the book contains around 10 chapters. Um, and what I found so awesome with it is that in around ch 10 chapters where it covers around 20 algorithms or so, um, it cover each algorithm and each chapter covers the topic just in enough details that you get the gist of it um, and understand like the basics of it. So that, that was very good With, without like uh, taking a lot of time to go over a topic. In, in a sh relatively short enough time, you, by reading a chapter, you can get the gist of the algorithm and what it does. Um, so that's definitely a great plus here. Um, okay, so now let's dive into a little bit more of a detailed um, review of each chapter here. So the first chapter is more of an introductory one. Um, so it explains what algorithms are and um, like why they are useful. Um, it's it explains them in a very introductory way. So um, yeah, I think if you are like kind of familiar with algorithm a little bit, it can be skipped. Um, it's good also to read it just to get your mind into the right frame of, just to get yourself into the right frame of mind. But um, yeah, so that's the first chapter. The second one is more um, detailed and describes like algorithms, gives some examples like linear search, um, and how to improve linear search. It also has a nice section on loop invariants um, since they are very useful in like um, convincing yourself and others that uh, a program is correct or at least that it's um, it will stop. Um, it just helps in general with writing a correct algorithm uh, and so this section was, was useful. Um, there is also an idea of how to use sentinels in an array which I found that the um, explanation of using it here was very good. Um, and then after that the book covers recursion um, yeah, uh, so that's pretty much um, an idea of um, of this chapter. It also has a section on time complexity, and it has an explanation on both like lower bound and upper bound um, for calculating time complexity. So I I think that was that was a great explanation. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's a, better than a lot of books. Um, it very concisely explains time complexity, lower bounds, and upper bounds, and how all of these relates. Um, and then after that, um, the the next chapter, chapter three, is on sorting and searching. So the first topic this chapter covers is binary search. Um, I think the coverage here of binary search is one of the best coverage that I've seen in a book. So it's, um, um, first it like explains it in an intuitive way, and then after that it goes into what loop and variant to use for binary search. And so with that, um, with a loop invariant in binary search, you can like you can eliminate the, the many mistakes that usually happen when, when, when we code binary search, either off by one errors or somehow the while loop is not terminating. And with the idea of loop invariance here of binary search, you can avoid that. And then after that, um, a different a set of sorting algorithms are described. So selection sort, insertion sort, merge sort, quick sort. Um, the book gives uh, examples, um, uh, detailed example, uh, like running the sorting algorithm on an example, and then also time complexity. And so, yeah, so that's this chapter. 
Um, and then this chapter, the, the other chapter after that, chapter four, goes through the lower bound of sorting, uh, you know, of and again, and how it can be bit, and how we can beat that lower bound, and in what cases we can. And so to do that, we uh, we see an example of counting sort, um, and then also it pre we the book presents radix sort, um, which is which are of course the the cases where we can improve on the lower bound for the general sorting. Uh, which is over again. But yeah, just a caveat here, improve on it only in some cases um, where the input can, where we can handle it too, just because the input has a certain uh, properties, right? And then after that, um, uh, the book covers uh, graph algorithms. And so directed acyclic graph, the usual topics for graph, which is um, topological sort, um, and then the running time of topological sort. So that's kind of the first algorithm we for graphs that the book describes. There's this section about the critical path in a perch rod, which mm, that wasn't ideal, like the explanation wasn't clear, how it's related wasn't clear. So I, yeah, I, I, I this section was, um, was, was bad for me, I think. Uh, but after that shortest path in, in a DAG, um, very good explanation as well. Um, and then we go over to chapter six, which covers more of the, like uh, the shortest path, uh, the possible shortest path algorithms that we know of. So Dijkstra, of course, um, Bellman, Ford, Floyd, Warshall. Again, great read here. Um, very concisely explained. Um, I think those were interesting. Then after that, the algorithms on string section. Um, this was an awesome section. Um, usually, um, yeah, so the first one, longest common subsequence, um, and then edit distance, how to transform one string to another, and then string match and matching. I think the explanation were awesome with this chapter, and um, the the examples also with the detailed um, explanation of how, what, how would we apply the algorithm for each um, for each example. Um, so yeah, this one was one of the, so I think this one along with the chapter on sorting with binary search, I, I think those two are the, my favorite chapters of this book. Um, the next chapter, uh, the next three ones, uh, I like it less. Um, one is on the foundation of cryptography. So more if you are interested um, in cryptography um, and not like algorithm specific, so less relevant for um, maybe in interviews if if that's the why you are reading this book. Uh, I think you can skip this one. But um, if not, just for general interest and just learning about more algorithms. I think this, this is a good read as well. Um, uh, but I, even like, I found the explanation a little bit less clear, um, maybe just because I don't have a background in cryptography, but um, yeah, th these chapters, this chapter specifically was a lot less clear for me. Uh, I had to supplement it with other material. Um, uh, yeah, and then the next one, data compression, the Hoffman codes section is great. It's very relevant to uh, coding interviews, to also the um, to also competitive programming. So this is this section is a great great read as well. Um, and then after that, uh, the book describes how fax machines can compress and then LZW compression. Uh, these sections were less interested to me personally, but also like especially the LZW compression. I found the explanation in the book not very. Mm, clear again um, and so again I had to supplement it with other materials so this is just a warning here um, and then after that as the sh last chapter is about hard problems um, which just describes class P and P and NP completeness um, the different what each class means and the different problems and gives examples of these as well um, this one is again less interesting from just like a coding interviews, comparative programming, maybe it's, it's a little bit more relevant there. But um, yeah, I, I I definitely read this chapter, but but I'm not usually interested by this. So yeah, you can skip it if if you are not interested. But again, the other chapters, algorithms on strings, shortest path, um, DAG, and then the these three first ones. Especially these two, the, the, those were excellent. So these two were excellent, uh, along with the. Um, I think also the yeah the explanation of counting sort or radius sort is really good. Um, I yeah I, I know I know I struggled first when learning about these two algorithms, 
but uh, the explanation here is is really awesome. Um, now the algorithms on strings. Um, I think this is the the best chapter in this book. Um, uh, so yeah, if you are going to pick up this book, definitely pick it up for reading this chapter. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the different chapters of this book. Um, yeah, th th one thing I I want to mention as well is the book first in the first few chapters to to describe sorting uses. Um, on arrays uses this example of a shelf of books um, to explain it and that was really a clever idea because that's just that just like makes you really grasp the con uh, the concept very quickly um, the other thing is that for the demonst for writing algorithms the book just uses pseudocode um, not a specific programming language so it's just pseudocode like you see here and um, in the explanation it, the book will refer to like section 1b which would mean this while loop. So you can see here the step 1b, and then for example, the step 1b double i, that would mean this step to explain exactly in detail what each step of the algorithm does. And so I think that was really helpful. Um, but all, I, what I would suggest is when you are reading this, definitely pick up a piece of, piece of paper and a pen and write down in your own words uh, what, will e what each step will do. Um, and do it especially, for example, for arrays on an array, for a graph on a graph, so that you can really understand just to yourself with a p uh, pen and paper and just follow along what the book is doing here. Because just reading it, it's hard because you would have to say 1B and then go back here. Mm, so it's a little bit hard that way, but with a paper, uh, pen and paper, it's, uh, it's a lot easier. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, as you can see here, really the what's useful here is that the, the author takes an algorithm and runs it step by step on an example. So, for example, you can see here, this is for merge start, I believe. Um, a really detailed example like that. And yeah, here also with, with the book example. Um, and same, similar thing with the graphs. Um, yeah, this is the string chapter, um, the string algorithms chapter as well. Um, and you can see here it goes through each one of them step by step. Um, yeah, so I think, um, yeah, I think this is a good read. It's a good algorithm book to pick up first. And even like, let's you know, say you've been, um, you are familiar with algorithm, but it's been a while that you haven't um, done problems. This is a good book to pick up just to refresh your memory. Um, yeah, this is also a, a really interesting ex example for Dijkstra, the way um, the way the author demonstrated, um, like how you can find the shortest algorithm by just having multiple runners on the graph. Um, so that's also an interesting idea. Um, so overall, yeah, definitely uh, a book that is worth a read. Um, I, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, and I'll leave a link for the for the book in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this Algorithm Unlocked. If you want an easier version uh, than Algorithms, Introduction to Algorithm book, definitely pick it up. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.